So unfortunate. I had hoped you wouldn't have to witness this. Where's Siri? Nearby. Shut up. I've heard enough of your bullshit. Think I'm willing to spare you? I think you will not attack one unarmed. Wouldn't be so sure. I'm in a foul mood. I am not your foe. I don't believe you. Can't. Will you believe me? Avalark speaks the truth. I asked him to help me open the town. Didn't think it worthwhile to tell me? Warn me of your plans? I'm sorry, I know, I should have. But I feared you'd not understand. <sighs> Leave with me, please. I will go. Once I emerge from the tower. Why the hell would you do this? The White Frost has... The prophecies are true. Only... Avalox muddled your mind with a fortune teller's fables. You're wrong. The White Frost truly does approach. Avalark gave me a choice. I There's gotta be an- What can you know about saving the worlds? This is my story, not- Don't do this to me. Please, not now. Carol, believe me. A tavern, mulled wine, our boots drying by the fire, I'd like nothing better. But I can't. I must try. For you, Yen, Triss, for everyone. Keep your fingers crossed. The gentleman will follow. Report! The Novigrad delegation is half a day's travel from here. And they truly are rushing. Return to your post. Yes, sir. What of Novigrad's hierarchy? What of it? 
Will he get his well-earned rest, or be sent straight to Darn Ruach? At his age, the journey is far. In I'd say. And costly. Is Imperial Need Majesty the best? Enough. Speak. Siri is dead. How did it happen? The white cold. You're familiar with the prophecy? Where is the body? I doubt it'll ever be found. Who else knows? And Yennefer? She's decided to stay in the north. Provided you don't object. I don't. And you? Someone's waiting for me. Triss Marigold. Fear not. I do not intend to have her pursued. Did Cyrilla say... Did she ask you to convey anything? We didn't talk about you. I see. If there's nothing else... There is, but you may go. Witcher! I do not wish to see you... ever again. Need help with your wagon? I think we'll be all right. <laughs> <laughs> Aye, you betcha. We'll manage. True, the barrels are ample, but we shall pour some off of each soon. Change is coming. True, no denying it. Nilfgaard flees, yet here it seemed nothing could move them. Left their wine behind too. Sure you don't need any help? I believe we will manage. Where are you headed? The nearest inn, by the looks of it. Yeah. Supposed to meet someone first, at the former camp. Faster. Master Ort. Hmm. 
probably got held back. You're late. Soldiers. Blocking the roads, I know. No matter. You have it? As agreed. 38 and a half inch blade. Weight, just under 40 ounces. Silver-plated siderite steel core. Glyphs and runes both the length of the blade and on the hilt. Beautiful. Been in this trade for three decades. Only the best swordsman of the coin for my wares. When I say no witcher has, or ever had a better weapon, you ought to trust me. Reputation precedes you, Master Hort. I'd never doubt you. The inscription, as you asked. Zirael. Swallow. Classic Elder Speech runes. No styling. Simple and precise. May I? It is yours. If you'd like to test it, have my lackeys put out a training dummy. Mm hmm. Your payment. Gems only, as requested. If you've an eye out for work, heard a strigger's prowl in the Maribor forest. Thanks. Need to visit the tavern first, but after, who knows? Good luck on the path, Witcher. I will come back for you, I promise. Yes, if only you've done half what you promised. I'll come back and take you to Nilfgaard. You, you must pay taxes here. to the noble Lord Dagborg now. This Lord Dagborg, who is Worth for us, the Black Ones would have sat here stunned. Is it done? Yes. Did he believe you? I have no idea. For the cockatrice. And we've a new contract. It won't pay much, but I think it's worth the toil. You've been busy. yours. A witcher's sword. Swallow. Oh, beautiful. May I? Not here. You'll have ample opportunity soon enough, witcher.
Let's try it out then. The Third Northern War ended. The invader from the south achieved complete victory. Robbed of Radovid's tactical genius, the northern realms could not withstand Emir's countless legions. Black banners appeared over Novograd and all Redania. Weary of rebel raids, Emir Varemris conceded, restoring Temeria as a realm in liege to the Empire. When the guerrillas laid down their arms, the Emperor shifted his forces to other fronts. Through Nilfgaard's victory, Temerians got their country back, and history once again proved a consummate trickster. Having dealt with Radovid, the Mir of Vardemris did the same with enemies domestic. The Emperor's loyal spies named all who had conspired against him, traitors, soldiers, and aristocrats alike. Though their mutiny had only been a murky plan, the Emperor showed no mercy, as was his wont. Though the war on the continent had ended, Hjalmar refused to lay down his arms. The young king pledged to raid and burn the shores of the Empire of Nilfgaard each spring. He meant to keep his word, even at the cost of drowning his people in their own blood. Cyrilla, Fiona, Ellen, Rhiannon, heir to Nilfgaard's throne, chose the life of a witcher on the path. Geralt taught her all he knew, every skill he possessed, then each set off on their own. Soon, word of the ashen-haired witcheress had spread throughout the north, from the Yoruga to the mountains of Kovir. And what of Geralt, you might ask? Well, he continued on as before, giving hand to mouth, job to job, on the road, ever coinless. We would meet at times over a glass of strong drink to talk about the old days and speculate what could have, would have, might have been. 